turn, pull back. So instead of the, the normal route where we start this movement off from the back, we start off from the hip, get most of the ten can in and then come back quickly. One, two, one, two, one, four. So we make a remi ten can. So you show man, zero me, and then your ten can. Hmm? Okay, show man, ten can. And it's a pivot ten cup. It's a pivot ten cup, this. So once you've made your Remy entry, it's just ten can. So you're facing this way, then this way. Okay? Right then I've got my turn. This shoulder is lower, so I'll just keep it low and then collapse the other one. So I've got here, here. The shoulder is low, so I'll keep it low. Drop, drop. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, stay in good posture after the, after the movement. So you're showing that you're not losing your own balance. So after the after the full movement, show me. Here, here. So in good body form, yes. So you've got your Remy entry, turn. Then you've got your ten can and you're dropping. Can you see where my forearms are in relation to his body? The forearms are laid on, on his back rather than here. This is the shoulders, this is the body. This is the body. So it's just a drop. So it's that drop. So you've got here, two. So you're not given the opportunity to have a nice comfortable roll back and you're not using your shoulders to pull back. So you're in this position. One, two, go. Make sure you put all the components in and don't just do it for a, for a bit of speed. Get your two parts in first to get into position. Two. So I'm extending out, keeping it extended right through rather than out. He stands there while I cut down and then throw. So I'm keeping everything extended out so the weight comes off that back foot and hopefully it stays off right through. Very difficult. Okay. And it happens in a moment. There. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the balance loss here that you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. So it's Kazushi straight away rather than that's your grafting. So get this feeling of taking everything this way and then get yourself under whilst you're keeping it extended. So I'm leading with the elbow, mm. leading with my elbow. Now draws them onto me and then throw. Remy, off the line, cut, throw. Ten can to the side, throw. So this side to here. So first contact is here, right to right, right to right. Moving it across, then cutting. Throw. So right to right, contact, move it across. Finish off and throw. Contact, move it across. Put the rotor in. And ten can to the side. There's your pivot ten can. Keep the rotor going. So we've got here. One, two. 
and you further that one, two, on your ten count. Okay, three movements there. Remy, one, two, rotate, through, straight forward, turn, and throw, and <laughs> turn, and move around. Was that sure? Was that sure? Hmm? So cool. Yeah. Two. Throw. Cut. Two. Throw. Go while it's in your head. <laughs> So I'm turning this way, yeah. and then I'm turning this way. So without the hand movements, I'm turning here, then here. Take his arm with, his arm with me. So cut here. So it comes here. One, two, three. Come on, come on. Other side. Other side. Just make the movement from where you finish. Just make a small adjustment here and then move in for the other side. One. Okay, gets up. Two. Okay, gets up. One. Small adjustment. Okay, gets up. Two. One. Two. Note the meat. Straight away. Not waiting for him to and then me coming up, I'm actually moving in to him. Again, I'm starting my move almost now. It's the circular movement here. Rather than an acute movement, in the shoulder it stopped there so curve the movement curve the movement and then drop so it's curve movement curve the movement and then drop so it's just an exchange cone two so it's just in sync with each other one two and when you're powering down, you're pulling back with this hand. One, two. See this hand coming back? Rather than it just being dead, dead at this point, and then you're relying on this, you're still moving with this hand. So there's a, there's a few pointers in there. One, two. If you're, you're taking control of the hand here, if you're taking control of it, it's the same. <laughs> so, if I've got it now, I'm not relying on his grip, I'm still turning it in. So if he makes ski, cut, cut, change, turn in. So if, if it's from ski here, cut, Two. <laughs> it's a collapsing technique. This is a throwing technique. Make ski. Cut. Oh. And collapsing ski. Yeah. Cut. Two. <laughs> collapsing. Even though it's a collapsing technique, since you would still cast the stream at a day. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's it. Anybody can do this. It's on the shoulders, but here, cut to the body. Here, dropping him with balance loss, because she rather than rather than strength. Looks good, but this works. And if he's if he's strong and he's, and he's on balance, so you're breaking his balance and furthering it. Okay, keep going. If I do this, I'm taking him down with balance loss and not so much joint pain. He's actually putting the lock on himself as he falls. So here, I'm having to use my own petrol here to, to apply it. But here, I just turned my hips slightly and he fell onto the lock. Balance loss, hip is enough to do it. Or if I'm just shouldery, I've got to do all that graft myself. But here, balance loss, turn of the hip, and ease off on the on the lock. So I'm not physically putting the lock on here. Balance loss. The job is done now. The job is done now. All he has to do is fall or recheck. Once he rechecks, I have to re-establish myself on the mat. So I've got to make the move before he gets an opportunity to recheck. So it's like those three points of contact. You're taking one away. So I'm using his recheck value to throw him. <laughs> so I haven't had to use so much. If you understand what I mean though, I'm cutting and I'm allowing him to recheck, but I'm just catching him because he's I'm taking away that other post, that other point of that other point of contact. Remember when we practice you just watch him fight, put his hand down and then take it away. It's very similar. So come back, rotate, watch for his back leg, and watch for him to step forward. And as he steps forward, make him move. But try not to put the lock on with strength. You're using Kazushi, uh, balance loss, yes. Quickly. Okay. Hey. Let's 